Today we're going to spit roast a pig. So we're going to take this pig, it's a nice size, about 50 kilos, and we're going to mount it on the pole. This is a spit pole, with a front triangle, four pronger, two U-bolts, two pronger, back triangle, and a weight. The weight will make the pig spin smoothly. A spit stop, and a pull when you call me. Things you have to do to your pig to get him ready for, to spit roast. You take all his belly off, it's no use anyway, and while you're cooking it, it'll just flap about. So cut it right back and really open it up, don't be shy. Right back. Put his back legs, cut a nice piece out. Just want that leg to stick right through the triangle. So again, don't be shy, cut plenty off. Today we're going to do them with the head off. There is another video online that you can see we're doing with the head on. Today we're going to take the head off. So go all around the head. Still come off. And say on the front legs, cut a nice big piece out so we'll go right through the triangle. And that's him ready to go. Just taking all the belly out, big piece off his back legs, so I'll go for the triangle, head off, big pieces through his front legs. Cool. Next thing we do, we take our U bolt, we push it through the pig, we push it in just behind the kidneys, push it through, take the second U bolt, just on the V of the ribs. Push it through, just nick the skin with a knife. Just push through. So here we go. So take your plate, pop the plate back on. Put the next back on. You can do the whole bed if you want to. At this point, we don't do them too tight, just sort of finger tight. Tighten them properly afterwards. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to start mounting the pig onto the pole. So we've left on the triangle, the front triangle. And if you look, there's a very slight bend on the triangle. And it's bending in towards the pig. And our fourth pronger. Debbie McGee, we're going to feed that through the pig for me. You get it so it's roughly in the right place, and then we'll tighten up one of the bolts just so it'll stay roughly where we want it while we do the rest of it. So we'll just tighten up one of these bolts just to stop the pole moving around while we do everything else. Okay, now take your weight. Well, how many have you got one? I'm going to send the four pronger into the pig. What we want to avoid is the shoulder blades. So by holding that like that, we're back to them. And don't be shy, give it a good bash and get it right in there.
Let's give it a quick tweak up. No, but if you've done the job properly, this is just nice and easy to go through there. Fetch it. Through there. That's the one. Let's give it a quick tap again. You can see there by cutting off that flesh, you get your legs really into that triangle as soon as you walk them out. Now. You can do all this on your own, but it is easy if you've got someone to help you. Now it's getting more even to go up. If you just take your Stanley knife, just nick the skin. Just makes it easier to get it in. You're not struggling to get it in. And again, we're going to tap him in. And again, don't be shy. Give a good whack. There you go. Got a triangle. Well, the last one will be interesting. And same again, we'll do his back legs through there. And then we'll just tap that triangle on. And put our weight on. And the weight hangs down to counterbalance the weight of the pig. Tighten him up. And then I split stop. And that is one. Pick it up all.